This video will demonstrate proper pipetting techniques. We will look at using micropipettes such as the P20, 200, 1000, as well as serological pipettes both manual and the electronic version. The electronic and manual serological pipettes are useful when transferring larger than 5 mils of a liquid. The electronic is great for pouring accurate volumes of numerous plates. The manual is useful when only a few transfers are needed. We have selected a sterile plastic 10 mil serological pipette for a demonstration of this technique. Open the wrapper by peeling it apart and set it aside as we will need it for disposal purposes. Grasp the tip close to the end to be inserted into the pipetter. When using a glass tip this is very important to reduce the risk of breakage and causing injury. Electronic pipetter has two buttons, one for drawing up the liquid and one for expelling the liquid. Always maintain the pipette in a vertical position to prevent any liquid from entering the pipetter. Insert the tip into your solution and press the top button to draw it up into the pipette. Notice serological pipetter tips have both decreasing volume and increasing volume indications. When drawing up a liquid, we can easily measure up to the 10 mil mark and then measure the volume dispelled by the decreasing values. Carefully transfer the tip into your receptacle. Dispense the liquid down the side of the container to avoid splashes. Replace the sleeve over the pipette tip for safe disposal. This prevents puncturing the garbage bag or biohazard bag that it is placed into. The manual serological pipetter works in the same way as the electronic version. Attach the pipette tip, place the tip into the liquid, and drop the liquid by rotating the circular crank. Read the volume by the ascending indicator and carefully move into the receiving container. You can dispense in one of three ways, quickly by depressing the plunger, slowly by reversing the crank, or pressing the lever which breaks the air seal and slowly releases the liquid. Once completed, replace the sleeve over the pipette tip, remove the pipetter, and dispose of the tip properly. For volumes less than 1 mil, use a micropipetter. Remember that 1 milliliter equals 1,000 microliters. The pipette values are in microliters with red windowed numbers indicating a decimal place between the next number. The maximum volume of the pipette is also the most accurate. For values nearing the bottom 10% of the pipette capacity, choose a smaller denomination pipette such as the P200 in this case. Grasp your pipette as shown and asymptomatically attach a suitable pipette tip, firmly but not forcefully. Depress the plunger to the first felt stop which is the measured amount corresponding to your setting. Place a minimal amount of the tip into the liquid to be transferred to avoid sample loss to the outer part of the tip. Slowly release the plunger to draw up the liquid. Fast release of the plunger can cause air bubbles resulting in inaccuracy or splashing of the liquid into the pipetter resulting in contamination and damage. Again, maintain the pipetter in an upright position so no liquid gets into the mechanisms of the pipetter. When expelling a liquid, hold either the pipette or the receptacle at a 45 degree angle. Expel the liquid down the side of the container for maximum recovery. Static can cause small droplets to catch on the outer surface of the tip if you try to attempt a pipette without touching the tube wall. Depress the plunger to the second stop to ensure the entirety of the sample is expelled and dispose of the tip appropriately. When transferring numerous liquids into a single container, always pipette the largest volume first. Smaller volumes can then be pipetted directly into the liquid already in the container for increased accuracy 